Hi guys, in our previous lesson, we solved a tricky question on quadratic equation using factorization method. That very question uh, was an only piano mathematics question. We were given a question to test ourselves to see how much we got from that very lesson. So here was a question we were given. Solve this quadratic equation using the factorization method. Now look at the equation root 3x squared plus 10x plus 7 root 3 equals to 0. Now, how do we factorize this? Um, this question is very simple and direct, uh, as you can see. Don't get phased by the, you know, the, the sort part that, that you can see on the board. This root 3x squared plus 10x plus 7 root 3 equals to 0. Now, our sum x and product, very, uh, very important. x squared minus sum x and product, we are still going to use them. But this time around, we are very lucky for the fact that the a and the c came in the form of third. Now this is a, you know, this appears so this is a miso. So what do we do? The sum x right at the, at the middle, sum x is plus 10x. As you can see, the sum x is right there. Now how do we get the product? We get the product by multiplying what we have here with what we have here. So the product is root 3x squared times 7 root 3. So what do we have? Yeah, that's 1 to 7 and 7. Root 3 times root 3 gives us root 9, which is same thing as a, yes, root 9, which is also 93 root s squared. So what do we have? 7 times 3 times s squared, which is 21 s squared. So the sum x is plus 10x, the product is plus 21x. So we're going to bring them together. Sum x plus 10x product plus 21 s squared as a product. Uh, look at the product that we have here. The product is a positive product. So for the fact that I have a positive product, it means the two signs that came together, you know, the two factors that make a pattern that came together, you know, had the same signs. Either minus, minus, or plus, plus. That simple is clear enough. The sum s is positive. So for the fact that the sum s is positive, it means that the product, uh, the two signs, the two factors, must have had, uh, you know, plus, plus, the same signs. That's double plus, plus, plus. So what are the two signs that when I combine them together, the two signs, the two factors I need, the, the two of them must have uh, both a uh, positive sign. So when I combine that, we get plus 10x. When I apply that, we get plus 21x squared. So that should be, let's just go to really that, plus 3x plus 7x. They both have positive sign according to the analysis. So when we multiply this, we get plus 21x squared. So we've gotten what we want. You know, so what's next? We come back to the zero question. Root 3x squared. Plus, it's a writing plus 10x. We're going to write 3s plus 7x, then plus 7 root 